Hi everyone, this is Kenyatta Gray again. I am hanging out with you all by the invitation from Women for the Culture. And so as I discussed earlier today, if you saw the introduction of the day today, I am actually on my way down Georgetown. We've actually successfully made it down to Georgetown because my spouse and I are celebrating our celebrating our third year anniversary. Make no mistake, we have been together for almost 15 years, but we got married three years ago. So there's my spouse, Julie. And so as I explained this morning, today is Sunday. And so not only do I work on Sundays, but I also make time for my family, like most of us should make time for our families on Sunday. So I'm gonna wait a few minutes to see if any others join in on this conversation today. Hello, hello. This is Kenyatta Gray. I'm gonna give it a few more minutes to see if anyone else joins in on this conversation. I am currently in Georgetown in Washington, DC. So if there are any Washingtonians on the line, then you know where Georgetown is. And so today I am, one of the things that I'm doing that I'm sharing with you is, um, you know, a conversation with my spouse about, you know, some things related to my journey to continue on with flights and stilettos. So I want to give it a few more minutes, a few seconds actually to see if anyone else chimes in. It's such a beautiful day in D.C. It really is. And I'm looking around and everyone is being, you know, very careful. They're wearing their masks in D.C. Because believe it or not, this is the first time that I have been um, out and about in the city since we went on quarantine. I definitely have not been in the D.C. area um, at all. I actually live in Maryland. Hello, Dom in the city. So, Julie, you know, do you remember the last time you and I went out um, before we went on quarantine? Hmm. I think it was. I think it was Miss Case. Yep, Mrs. K. We went to Mrs. K's Toll House yeah. and what else? And. Grillfish. We went to Grillfish. Yeah. So I remember that weekend specifically because it seemed like um, we went to all of our favorite restaurants. We were kind of hearing the grumblings and the rumblings about um, COVID-19 and, you know, things were about to change. And it just seems like that particular weekend, we just went out of our way to like go to dinner Saturday night go to our favorite brunch spot on Sunday and then boom that very next Monday the city was shut down for COVID-19 and so today um you know it's brunch this is what we normally would do on a Sunday we would go to brunch and so I really wanted to experience you know what it's like to go out to eat during COVID and so we're going to Sequoias which is a very popular brunch spot in Georgetown and I am very curious because they sent us you know information that we need to wear our masks and things like that so you know in March it was fine now you know with COVID I'm very curious to see what the experience was like but I also wanted to you know include you in on a very um, personal conversation with you something that I've really never shared or talked about before and so, like I mentioned earlier today, not only will I be talking about things related to my business, flights and stilettos, and my authorship, but I wanted to give you all a little glimpse of, you know, my life, you know, because I'm a whole person. I'm not just flights and stilettos. I'm not just an author. I'm a wife. I'm a mother. And I know you're not going to believe this, but I am also a grandmother. So, Julie, yes. let me ask you a question. Um, flights and stilettos. Was there ever 
a time when you thought that I would give up on pursuing my dream of you know having an amazing business flights and stilettos was there ever a time that you thought I would give up or a time that I did give up because oftentimes off entrepreneurs especially new entrepreneurs they um, you know have this big shiny bright idea and something comes along and just totally you know um, derails their plans even with best intentions so was there ever a time that you thought that I would totally abandon flight and stilettos and just give up? Yeah, there was a time. Um, after your mother passed, and you were very fragile. And then a couple of months later, your father was admitted to the hospital. Uh, and his fate was unknown for a couple of months so we were very fragile it's true Ju and you know what you just mentioned something that I very rarely talk about and that is um, my mother suddenly passed away in October 2018 and so I was dealing with that and then my father who had been on the transplant list for a kidney you would think on Christmas day he got the call come to the hospital you're gonna get your um, kidney. Um, you know, we have we have a kidney for you. Come to the hospital. It was on Christmas Day, so he shows up on Christmas Day for his kidney. Something goes incredibly tragically wrong, and the next thing I know, my father is on life support for the next two months. So I just lost my mom, and two months later, I'm on the verge of losing my dad. And you can imagine, I'm an only child. That's all I got, right? So I was about to lose my mind. And so, but Julie, so what was the turning point or what is it that you think ultimately is responsible for me getting the courage back to continue on with flights and stilettos and any of the other things that, you know, you and I are involved with that, you know, just, I almost just gave up on life. Flights and stilettos. Flights and stilettos was the last damn thing on my mind after my mom and my dad. But what do you think gave me the courage from your point of view to continue on with what was my dream before I experienced unimaginable tragedy back to back? You're your mother's child. And I think everything that she had instilled in you, everything. You just wanted to bring her legacy to the light. You didn't want her to be forgotten. Mm -hmm. You know, she was your strength. You just wanted to give back everything that she gave you. Right. And so yeah. you're saying my motivation was instead of, you know, dying and rolling over and giving up. Yeah. I got some energy to keep on going because I wanted to keep her legacy alive. And you're absolutely right. And one of the things that I want to share with people is a lot of times people see all your glory. They see all your, your cute clothes, all your cute posts, your cute sunshades, your eyelashes done, right? But oftentimes behind that, there is a story, right? Flights and Stilettos is something that I kicked off um, early 2018, right? Just beginning early 2018. By October 2018, I suddenly lost my mom. And by about early 2019, I started to just think about, wait a minute, you know, I have work to do. If I kill myself and if I die and if I succumb to this, I can't... What legacy am I leaving behind? How am I going to honor my mother's legacy? What are my children and my spouse going to do without me? So while you may see all of the glory, glitz, glam, uh, somewhat notability, I, I'm nowhere near famous, but some of the notability, please understand that I am driven not for fame, not for fortune. I am driven to work very hard on flights and stilettos because guess what flights and stilettos was my savior flights and stilettos was a distraction 
for me so that I could continue living. I had to focus on something after losing my mom so that I wouldn't just one day go decide to hang myself in a closet because my, my mental state had dropped to just that low. And so flights and stilettos was something that my mother loved. She absolutely adored flights and stilettos. And so when you see all of the effort, all of the blood, sweat, and tears, and then when you see the result of that, which is oftentimes, you know, um, news clippings, article, magazine postings, just understand that I am motivated because I want to live. That was how I was able to live. That's how I was able to survive. Flights and stilettos became a lifeline. It was never about fame, flashiness, or fortune. And not only that, my mother loved to play since the Lettos, and so I feel like there's a connection and by me continuing on with flight since the Lettos, I'm doing something that is making her spirit happy and so I really wanted to you know drive that point home because sometimes people look at your situation your status and you know might be feeling some kind of way may even sometimes you know a lot of people are definitely happy for you then there's some people that think, oh, you done got a little come up, you done changed. Nah, it ain't like that. Kenyatta Gray is using flights and stilettos to survive. That's what it is. And I thank God that I have a spouse and I thank God that I have children. And I thank God that people were sent my way to help me to continue living my mother's legacy and living my dream. And for all of you that have supported flights and stilettos, you have supported a dream and you have enabled me to keep living and not only live, but to thrive and survive. And so I hope that this discussion about the courage and why I put so much energy into flights and stilettos resonates with you. And, you know, it's one of those things that, you know, I'm trying to survive, but I was working so hard that I made myself notable in the process and so that was a side effect of me really trying to survive and, and and having something that was a distraction flight since stilettos to keep living so i hope that this was encouraging and inspirational and no matter what you know no matter what life throws your way find that why find that reason to survive and find that reason to keep going and one of the things that my mother used to always say to me is can y'all keep living and so I had work to do and I couldn't get it done dead and so I hope that this definitely inspires you so Julie and I my spouse Julie and I are now about five minutes out we're getting ready to park we're getting ready to go into Sequoia probably have to wear our mask and we're going to enjoy a great brunch and I'll let you guys know how it is and so um, after we um, enjoy brunch the next thing that I will do is log on live and I will share with you um, the moment when I go and visit my mom's resting place because again that is part of what I would normally do um, on a Sunday okay it's about family it's about business we will talk about business later on this afternoon right now it's about family all right so i hope that this particular session was helpful to you all inspirational gave you food for thought and i will check in with you in a few hours when you see that little light flashing for women for the culture that's going to be me because they allowed me to take over their page for today and i couldn't be more grateful all right have a great rest of the afternoon and I'll check in with you all later later on today all right bye bye